my goal is to go through all of the equipment in my studio here so that you guys uh, can not only buy this gear, but you can actually know how to use it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point of buying a nice piece of gear if you don't, if you can't optimize the, uh, the, the quality, okay? Beautiful. So there's even more that I want to teach you guys about uh, when it comes to this mixer. And so the next thing I'm going to teach you about is how to get USB audio into your mixer. So on the Rodecaster Pro mixer, you can play back not only audio, and you can record not only audio from one, two, three, four microphones, not only can you bring in a Bluetooth input, and not only can you bring in any external input that has a cord, you can also bring in USB input into the mixer. What do I mean by that? Well, on the back of the mixer itself, back here, you see that little cable back there? You see that little guy right back there next to your power cable on the back of the mixer, you see it? That is a USB cable that you're gonna want to run from your mixer into your computer. And so I have that one currently plugged into my laptop. You do not need a USB 3.0. You can do USB 2.0 from this, no problem, but USB 3.0 is preferred. Then, once you run that cable, your mixer will be connected to your computer. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do with your computer is you're going to want to make sure that your audio settings are set up correctly. So what does that mean? Let me pull it up on the screen for you. You right click the sound icon in Windows and you go to sound settings. You can just search for sound settings as well. And you wanna make sure that your Rodecaster Pro mixer is your output device, your speakers, and you're going to want to make sure that your Rodecaster Pro is your input device on your computer when you're looking to use USB audio. Cool? Cool. So once you've done that, then the routing is complete. Then on the mixer itself, what I want you to do is I want you to drop the volume to all the way down on the USB channel. This is the USB channel. I want you to drop the volume all the way down before you turn on audio so you don't blow your face off. I want you to unmute the channel and really importantly, and I'm gonna keep going over this, I want you to click the ear button here so you can monitor the audio from that channel, no matter what, if you're gonna be pulling audio from that channel. Got it? So your volume's all the way down, it's unmuted. If it's muted, it's red. If it's unmuted, it's not. And you're gonna click the ear button right here so you can monitor the audio that's coming in from that channel so you know what's up. Got it? Good. Next, on your computer, what you're gonna do is you're gonna play back some kind of sound, okay? So it can be music from Spotify, it can be whatever you want it to be. And so I'm gonna just play back my tutorial stream I did yesterday, just as just because it has audio, okay? But this is just an example. You can play back, just to be clear here, you can play back any kind of audio you want. Music, gameplay from a video game, uh, you know, a video, a sound effect, anything. Cool, this is just an example. So I'm gonna play back this audio from my live stream from yesterday. I'll just fast forward it. This is me going over the mixer yesterday. <laughs> and then on the mixer itself, what you're gonna do is turn up that particular channel, the USB channel, until that audio starts to come through. For each of these filters, so Hear that it? you can better understand what they do. Now, of course, you can listen to And there you go. That's seriously, it's that easy. You just slide the slider up. If you just listen to them, you can get a really good idea of and you slide the slider down, and all of the USB audio, all of the audio outputting from whatever USB device you plugged it into, like your computer, all of the master output from that computer is now playing back through the USB channel in your mixer. And you can mix that into your recording, you can mix that into your stream, you can mix that into whatever you're making, your podcast, in real time, using this slider right here. You mute it, you monitor it, it's that simple. So the possibilities are now kind of endless, aren't they? So you guys are starting to see why I am so crazy about this mixer. Four microphone inputs, any audio at all that you can play through your computer, any external device that you can connect to with a cable, and any Bluetooth device at the same time, all of which can be mixed in real time using physical sliders with a digital interface, all within the Rodecaster Pro. That's how you connect a USB device to this. So gamers out there, that's how you bring in your gameplay audio if you want. 
uh, podcasters out there, that's how you can bring in your theme song or you can play back a reference video that you wanna show your audience. People that do demos, this is how you can play back a trailer or a reel of your product is through the USB channel on here. The possibilities are literally endless in that you can play back any audio that you can play on your computer through the mixer and it will be captured through the mixer in real time and you can mix it in the mixer in real time, which is also super attractive. Amazing, right? Awesome. So that's how you bring in USB audio into 